is believed and how does that capacity to be believed um, actually become characterized by gendered and racial exclusion. So then we can look at the history of gendered and racial exclusion, for example, from the law. So this is, I think, an important thing to think about because we're living through a remarkable moment in Me Too where women are being believed. But why is it taking so long? Women have been saying Me Too for a long time. So I think this is something that actually art is a very valuable space to really think about and explore. Um, I value the uselessness of art in this way, in the way in which it can actually be this kind of indicator, this place of exploring ideas. You don't really know where they're going. You can work through ideas, you can critique what's going on in the world, even if you believe in it, even if you just want to unpack it and see what's underneath, and that actually leads to new frontiers. So with that in mind, um, I'm actually in California right now, not only to be on this panel, um, but also because I co-founded a artist residency program with some collaborators in Los Angeles called the Arts Research Cooperative. And we are in our inaugural summit, and we are dedicated to offering a space for artists, writers, and curators who aren't necessarily market-driven. So it's a place to be useless. It's a place to explore ideas, and in the being useless that we all must share, to actually imagine different kinds of future. So thank you. I thought from the beginning, and I still do, with 
I had to convince people that this was an issue, but when I said I'm, I'm interested in the, the image of women in advertising, and other feminists would say, we have important issues like violence against women. And I would say they are related, that the objectification of women, which surrounds us in our popular culture and in our country to this day, and it is no better than it was, in fact, in some ways it's worse, creates a climate in which violence and abuse becomes inevitable. Uh, because when you turn a human being into a thing, you invite violence, you make it, uh, uh, it, it becomes inevitable. So I think that one of the exciting things to me that's been happening in the past year has been the way in which women have been coming forward, have been bleed, in which I think a lot of men are beginning to understand the sort of lived experience of women, that we, the, the climate of violence and harassment, et cetera, that has become so much of our lives, and that there is a relationship between that and the kinds of images that we uh, are surrounded with. So that's the work I've been doing for a really long time. Thank you. Um, direct Peace Works Travel, which is a socially conscious education abroad program 
um, for young people to go to countries and destinations that have iconic lessons in peacemaking, and more specifically, recovering from conflict. Um, I started this as a high school history teacher. I was a recovering lawyer and became a history <laughs> teacher and um, started this right after 9-11 because I was really upset hearing my students repeat calls to war as if that was the answer to our national grief. Um, and I grew the program while still teaching high school and then I turned 40 and I was like, I'm growing this. I'm blowing this up. I'm making this, this intersection of curriculum and experiential learning and testimony from real people who are living with the legacy of conflict. And then how do we implement social entrepreneurial solutions for mutual prosperity? Treaties are great. You know, laws are great. And they keep the civil fabric of society together. But countries or people united across borders that are mutually prosperous, they don't bomb each other. <laughs> they don't. So we are now using digital storytelling and the five freedoms of the First Amendment as the way that the students are learning and capturing the testimony and the experience of the people they meet. And then we come back here to the United States and they are winning awards and film festivals all over the place telling the story of 